Hello, my very most beautiful Virgos. How is everyone? I hope you guys are all doing amazing. So my lovelies, we are going to be doing your March weekly reading. Now this is a general reading and it may not be able to resonate for all of you. This reading is going to go from the 7th through the 13th. Now guys, um, everything that you need to know, whether it's about this reading or about scheduling your personals, all of that will be in the description box below for you. And if you guys want something that is tailored for your exact energy, I do have personals open. So we're going to go ahead and pray and just get started. Archangels, spirit guides, and ancestors, please deliver clear messages with a very clear understanding for my very most beautiful Virgo, please. May the messages that need to be heard the very most please come through. And may they please find those who need to hear it. Please show me Virgo's energy. A very clear message with a very clear understanding. All right, my lovelies. Let's take a look and see what we've got going on for you. I know that you might not be able to see these as I am laying them out, okay? Um, but I will be holding them up and showing them to you as we go over them. I just, wow. Um, I just am trying to keep and create space for your person's energy as well, but I will be holding them up and showing them to you, so no worries, my loves, okay? At the bottom of the deck, we do have the death card, the two of cups here, okay? So I definitely feel like there's something here. There could be a lot of, how do I put this? There could be dealing with somebody who's um, a little bit controlling, okay? A little bit controlling, maybe a little bit bossy. Okay, it doesn't have to be, but it it's some, could be something like that here. I do feel like it brings in a lot of arguments, okay? Um, a lot of arguments between the two of you. I do feel like you do have a deep connection with this person, but there's something going on with the communication um, that isn't, you know, isn't positive at this time, okay? Whether you don't feel heard or you don't feel like you can truly express your thoughts and feelings at this time, it, there's something going on here, okay? Now, we do have the death card here as well. So there, this you could be contemplating an ending or just really wanting to transform the situation. We're gonna have to take a look and see what's going on. Now, we have the Four of Cups in the reverse and the Queen of Swords for your, um, for your thoughts. So what's going on in your headspace? Now, I do feel like you guys could be there's definitely something here that you're not happy with within the connection. Um, I do feel like you're trying to get to the root of that. He, he is sitting at the base of the tree, which can really speak about needing to get to the root of the problem. I do feel like you are open to um, to communicating, to like welcoming in some kind of solution or to figuring things out with this person. Um, but there's something with the communication so it's that's like it's you as willing as you are to do this um there's there's a little bit of a problem okay so it's almost like you you're willing to do it but um there's some kind of blockage so let's take a look and see in the heart space we have the four of wands in the reverse and the two of pentacles trying to figure out what to do um from here because like i said it's almost like yeah as much as you are willing to talk about things you know it's not it's not happening or it's not happening in a positive way or it's not being successful and you know things are definitely not going the way that you want to want them to go the four of wands in the upright is a part of reaching a goal a finish line and accomplishment so sometimes to me in the reverse it can really speak about you know being very disappointed with the way that something is went or something not working out the way that you wanted it to the two of pentacles like trying to figure out what to do i feel like you guys could be trying to balance um you know home life work life all of this stuff and you're just just unhappy okay you're just unhappy with the way that things are right now um between you and this person and and not not knowing what to do about that so we have the Hierophant in the reverse and the High Priestess, which interestingly enough, these two are um, these two are divine counterparts. Okay, these these are corresponding parts. And to me, this is like how do I put it? This is like you know, um, you know, our spiritual self, our internal, you know, spiritual kind of energy, our internal spiritual kind of realm is what you know the high priestess represents. And then the hierophant is like that brought down into the earthly plane. It is like the it's like more like the religion. It's like the earthly, you know, churches, religion, the right way to do things, rules, things, structure, things like that. Um, but they are divine counterparts, even though they are kind of opposite. Now there's definitely a disconnect here. As you can see, one is in the upright and one is in the reverse. So there's definitely a disconnect here. And I do feel like you are you are really trying to um, look within and figure out 
if this is something that you you know want moving forward now some of you guys could be married to this person and you could be really thinking about a divorce others of you guys um you know you could be engaged and you know thinking about that is this something that is somebody that i really want to marry is this somebody that i really want to commit to others of you if you're not married or engaged you know because it's just be a commitment like is this something that i really want a commitment that i really want to continue on i feel like you guys are um you know really taking a deeper look and and there's a lot of unknown tied to this you know the high priestess she she has all the answers she's holding the you know the scrolls of truth but she doesn't necessarily reveal them okay so it is to me like there's a lot of unknown there's a lot of mystery so it's like i'm not sure what to do moving forward i'm not sure if this is going to work i'm not sure if i want to continue to do this i'm not sure if i want to continue to commit to this or you know proceed any further so i feel like there's a lot going on on a very like a very deep level when it comes to your intentions and your feelings now we have the queen of wands in the reverse and the four of pentacles i feel like you're not taking any action at this time though Okay, I do feel like you're still holding on. You're trying to get your head and your heart on the same page um, because I feel like they're, they're not quite on the same page. You do have a lot of love for this person. So let's grab another deck and take a look and see what this person's energy is towards you. Actually, I want to use these. Show me the person that... Um, show me the person that... Virgo is dealing with, please. What is their energy towards Virgo? Show me the person that Virgo is dealing with, please. What is their energy towards Virgo? Show me the person that Virgo is dealing with. What is their energy towards Virgo? A very clear message with a very clear understanding. All right, my lovelies, let's take a look and see what's going on. We got the Eight of Swords and the Seven of Swords. Magician, Five of Swords. Queen of Pentacles in the reverse, the Emperor in the reverse, oh my, and the Six of Cups and the Knight of Pentacles, the King of Cups in the reverse at the bottom of the deck. So there's definitely some kind of decision that is being made between the two of you here. The King of Cups in the reverse, so either this person is like a little bit overwhelmed emotionally by the situation and maybe not handling it in the most emotionally mature way or, you know, just in the best control over their emotions at this time. Um, or it can be that they are becoming a little bit emotionally closed off, a little bit emotionally unavailable when it comes to the situation because of whatever's going on between the two of you. They're like emotionally distant, emotionally guarded, something like that here. So just take it how it resonates for you. We do have the Eight of Swords and the Seven of Swords in their thought space. There's some distrust going on between you and this person, okay? There's definitely some distrust from their end. I feel like they're not fully trusting you at this time, and that could be creating um, some them to be emotionally guarded or them to pull back or them to, you know, maybe not be, you know, behaving in the best, most rational way because they are kind of being... Um, you know, they're really upset by this, whatever this is. They're really in their head. They're trying to figure things out. It's stressing them out. It's like running on a loop in their head. And there's definitely some distrust. Um, if there has been any dishonesty between the two of you, like that's something that they're having a hard time getting past. Now we have the, and it doesn't have to be, it can be perceived dishonesties, perceived sketchiness, you know, something like that. So just take it how it resonates. Um, the Magician and the Five of Swords, uh, this can be very like sneaky, tricky, uh, manipulative energy. I, I do feel like this person wants answers. They want to. They want to get to the bottom of the situation. There's definitely a lot of distrust going on here at this time. Whether they have the right to feel that way or not, they could even just be, um, you know, punishing you for past people's mistakes or whatever it is. But there's definitely something going on. I do feel like with the magician that they do want to make this work and they are willing to put the work in, but they're having a hard time getting past this distrust. Now we have the. Queen of Pentacles in the reverse and the Emperor in the reverse. They don't know what to do. They don't know they don't know what to do. Okay. And um, the Emperor in, in the reverse is definitely feeling a lack of control in the situation. It's like feeling like their hands, you know, throwing their hands up in the air, like they don't have the control of the situation. So it's like as much as they want to um, invest time, effort, and energy into this, they don't know they don't know where to put that. Okay. They don't know what to do. They feel like it's not it's not getting them anywhere. They feel like all the work and effort that they've put into this connection. Um, isn't making a difference at this time. It also can be talking to feeling like they don't have the resources that they need. So that they could feel like they're lacking in somewhere. They're really taking this on internally. Like, okay, well, 
you know, I just must not be enough. It must be me or I'm not doing enough or I don't have enough or something like that here. Now their action is the Six of Cups and the Knight of Pentacles. So they definitely feel this connection with you still. They still recognize this as a soul connection and they still think about um, all the good times that you guys have. They still want this. I feel like they're trying to come up with a plan on you know, how to fix this, how to make this happen, and how to get past whatever this trust issue is. There's definitely something going on with the communication where, you, like I said, so this person's having this trust issue, these these feelings, and the communication just isn't going. Um, so whether they're not communi they're communicating like in, in a mature way um, or in a rational way, and then that makes the, convert the truly um, healing conversation is very difficult to have. Um, there's something like that here. You guys are going to have to let me know. Um, it's going to resonate differently for everybody, but this is kind of what I'm seeing. There's definitely an issue with the conversation. I feel like you're willing to talk about it and work at it, but it's like every time you guys try to, um, you know, it gets back to this place. So this is kind of what I'm seeing for you guys this week. It does look like there's a lot going on here in this connection. Um, if this resonates, let me know in the comments down below. If it doesn't, check out your other place about that, guys. So if this resonates, let me know in the comments down below. If it doesn't, check out your other sign placements. Everything that you guys need to know, whether it's about this reading or about scheduling your personals, all of that will be in the description box below for you. If you like the way that I read, please like, share, and subscribe. Um, and guys, most importantly, if you want personal prayers for any reason at all, put a little prayer emoji in the comments down below and I will go through and pray for you. So I'm sending so much love and light until next time.